This is a review of the best screen recorders for Android right now, including the best free and paid options and the different features between them to help you decide which is the best one for you. Plus a tutorial on each showing you exactly how to record your Android screen in just a few taps. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. And all the links Thanks to everything I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Okay, so I've got two options for you. We're gonna start off with the simplest free one first, and then I'm gonna introduce you to a more advanced solution, which is free as well, but does have a paid option to unlock some additional features and also remove ads and those sorts of things. So I suggest sticking around until you've checked out both of the options before running off to start playing around or installing apps to make sure that you're not missing out on any of the extra features that might be useful for you. So the first option is to use the built-in screen recorder on Android. This is something that they started releasing in version 11, and it's actually pretty good. Now, if you haven't done the update to Android 11 or it's not supported on your device yet, you might find that you've already got a decent screen recorder built in. A lot of Samsung phones and others have had built-in screen recorders for quite a while, and they're pretty good too. So to find it, you just wanna swipe down from the top past the notifications until you're able to see the menu options there. And then you might need to swipe across to find screen recorder. Now, if it's not showing for you, you can press the edit button down the bottom left-hand corner and you can customize up which icons are actually shown on there and also the order that they're shown. So I'm gonna go back out of this now and I'm just gonna press on screen record start and it's gonna pop up with some options. Now this is actually pretty powerful and it's awesome that they've included them in here because this is normally what you needed one of the other apps like the one I'm gonna show you next for which unlocks more functionality. So you've got the option here, not just to record your device's screen, but also to record audio. And if we press on this, this little drop down arrow here, we get to choose what audio we'd like to capture. So we can just record the audio from the phone's microphone. So if I'm gonna be speaking, then it would just record that. We can also record just the device audio. So if I'm gonna be watching a video or playing a game and I want that audio captured, then I can select device audio, or you can actually select both device audio and microphone as well, which is so awesome that they've included that in here. Now, if you don't want audio at all, then you can just disable that option. But the last one here, show touches on screen. This is where if you enable this, then you'll actually see the little touch marks appear on the screen as you're running through your recording so that your viewers or anyone watching can follow along with what it is you're doing. So then all you need to do to start your recording is press start. And then when you're ready to stop your recording, you can just scan swipe down from the top to bring up your notifications and just press tap to stop. That will then go ahead and save the file on your device, which then you can open up in your photos app and you can trim it down or share it out from there. So that's a really simple, straightforward way that you can record your Android device screen. Now, if you don't have access to a built-in screen recorder on your Android device already, then that's where you're gonna have to install an app to do it. Now, there is an absolute ton of them out there, but my favorite and the one that I recommend is called X Recorder. And it's actually by the same company that make InShot, the video editing app. So when you download and open up the app, you're probably just gonna see this little floating orange widget here that you can pick up and that you can move around. This is kind of your quick access to all the control and all the functionality inside of X Recorder. So if we press on that now and just press the home button to take us to the actual home app, I'll run you through some of the features in here and then show you the rest of that quick access button. But let's go down to settings down the bottom right hand corner. So you can see in here how many more settings and how much more control we get over our screen recording than what we had with the built-in Android one. So straight away we get to adjust the resolution, lots of different options in there from 240p right up to 1080p quality, we get to record it up to 16 megabits per second. So the higher the number, the better the quality, but also the larger the file size will be as well. So I'm gonna leave this on the maximum here, 16. You also get to choose your frames per second. So if you're doing any sort of gaming videos or anything like that, then you would wanna be recording at 50 or 60, the higher frame rates, so that you're gonna get a smoother video for your game screen recording. But you also have options right down to 15 frames per second in here too. You also have the ability to leave your screen orientation on auto, or you can actually lock it so that the video is gonna stay at landscape or portrait. 
Now, if we come down here, you can see we got the option to record audio in here as well. So I'll just tick this box and then we get to choose our audio source. So it's currently set to recording internal audio or we can set it to do our microphone as well. So the microphone in the phone. Now what this doesn't have, surprisingly, is the ability like we have with the built-in app to record both the microphone and internal audio. And there is a little bit of a warning there saying that internal audio recording is only supported on Android 10 and above. And there's even an app support list. If we press this check supported app list, it's gonna go through a look at all the apps that are installed on your phone and it's going to give you a checkbox as to whether they are supported or not. You also in here get to specify where your video file is going to be saved on your device. And if we come down here some more, there's things like a countdown timer in here as well. So it's currently set to three seconds. We can make it five, 10, or we can turn it off completely. We have the option here to hide the recording window while you're recording. This is one that you can see I've got on, so I don't want the, all the recording stuff showing while I'm doing the recording, so I like to have that one ticked. You can also here shake the phone to stop recording, so you don't even need to press the stop button. You could just shake your phone to stop recording with that one. We can also turn on our camera for our screen recording as well. So there's me, hey. We can also paint or draw on our screen. So if we enable the brush here and we press on the brush, then we can free draw on the screen. We can circle stuff, uh, or there's even little preset shapes and things down the bottom here. So we could draw out a square. Uh, we can get arrows probably better than the one that I drew. All of this stuff we can add in, which is again gonna be recorded while we're recording as well. So I can press the little red X down the bottom here to cancel out of that. So I'm not gonna run through every feature in here, but those are the main ones. And you can see how much more advanced this is than the built-in one and how much more functionality it has. So I'm gonna go back to my Android desktop here now, and you can see that we've got the app still running here. And so if I press on this, this is that little quick launch menu again, you can see we've got direct access now to press record. We can also then bring up our tools, which is then gonna bring up some of those menu items we had before to quick access to screenshot, to enable our camera, to do the brush, enable the microphone. So we don't have to dive back into those settings. That next one is the home button to take us to that main page in the app where we can see all our recordings. And the last one there is the settings button, which will take us directly to the settings. So now if we wanna actually start a screen recording, we can press on the little button here and we can press record. That'll count us down and we are now screen recording with this app. So we can go and do whatever we need to do. When we wanna stop, we again swipe down from the top and we get this extra menu appear down in our notifications area where we again have access to those tools. We can pause our recording or we can stop it altogether. So I'm gonna press stop and it says here that our video is saved. We can play it, we can delete it, we can edit it, or we can share it directly from here. Now that's the other cool thing about this app is that once we've done our screen recording, we can actually edit them down in this app as well. So if we go down to this little edit button, the little pencil down the bottom, we've got a heap of extra tools in here for editing videos, compressing videos, merging videos together, editing photos and those sorts of things in here as well. So if we just go edit video in here, we can select our video. Let's pick this one here and go next. And then we've got a heap of editing tools and functionality in here. Now this video editor in this app here does actually put a little watermark on your video, but you can remove it for free. So you can see it's got the watermark down the bottom there, X recorder. If you actually press on that, they give you the option to watch an ad and that watermark will be removed. So it's not on your actual screen recording, it's actually when you come in to edit in here. Or you can remove it permanently if you upgrade to the paid version. So the paid version or X Recorder Pro, it's a one-time purchase. It's not a monthly fee or anything like that. This is gonna remove all of the ads and there aren't quite a lot of them on there. It's also going to remove that watermark permanently and give you access to more of those tools in there like the video compressor and also the ability to add text onto your images. So the price you're seeing on my screen is in Australian dollars, $9.49. I'm pretty sure it works out as around six or $7 US to upgrade to the pro version. So still ridiculously cheap considering what you're getting access to. So those are my top recommendations for recording your Android device screen. So now that that's sorted, if you're also interested in video editing apps on Android, then check out the video on screen where I break down the best options out there right now, whether you're an absolute beginner right through to someone more advanced. I'll see you in the next video.